guys, look at what we have just flipped. Are you kidding me? One of the coolest snakes in North Carolina. This is the rough green snake. And oh my gosh, I've wanted to film this species for such a long time now. And you can plainly see why it is called the rough green snake. It is solid green. How crazy is that? I think that this looks like a snake that belongs in the tropics, not here in North Carolina. Now, while the green part of the name might be obvious, the rough actually comes from the keeling of the scales. So they're very small and you cannot tell from a distance, but if you take a closer look, you'll actually see that each of these scales has a little ridge in the middle, and that's what we call keeled. I cannot believe that we flipped a rough green snake under a rock like this. And this is exactly why when I'm conducting my snake surveys, which you can check out in my field note series, I look under every piece of cover where there could possibly be a reptile because rough green snakes are actually arboreal. So we typically think that about 90% at minimum of a rough green snake's life is actually spent in the treetops where these guys forage primarily for invertebrates, but also for small lizards like anoles or skinks. And these are highly visual diurnal hunters. So during the daytime, they're using these huge forward facing eyes to search for movement. So if an insect flaps its wings or if a lizard twitches, these eyes will lock onto that prey item and they will slowly wiggle their way up to it using their camouflage to approach to an angle where they can strike um, and grab that prey item. Now, rough green snakes are non-venomous. They have no venom or toxins of any kind, but thankfully they don't need that to kill the soft-bodied insects and very small lizards that these guys are eating. They're just kind of grabbing them and swallowing them whole. So rough green snakes max out at about two to three feet long. This one's probably a foot and a half, so it still has some more growing that it could potentially do. Although if it's a male, it may get no larger than this. Now ecologically, despite how small they are, rough green snakes are still pretty important. They're fully arboreal, invertebrate and lizard specialists, and nothing else fits that bill. While snakes like black rat snakes will occasionally climb trees or even copperheads to eat things like cicadas, rough green snakes are perfectly adapted for a life in the treetops in a way that no other species quite compares. So if you do see these animals out in your yard or on a hiking trail, obviously there's no reason to fear them. They're very easy to identify. They're the only green colored snake in North Carolina. So you can just look for that. And once again, they're non-venomous. They have no toxins of any kind. So if you do see them, they're very easy and fun to handle if you want, or you can just leave them and appreciate their beauty from a distance um, with no fear or anything like that. But what an amazing snake to work with. So glad we were able to find one today. Never expected to see this species, especially not at the field site we're working right now. But we'll go ahead and get this snake right back under the rock where we found it after we grab just a few quick B-roll shots. What a beautiful animal. All right, buddy. Ready to go home? You like your rock? Here. I don't know if he even wants to go back under his rock. Well, I'll let you do your thing then. Thank you. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Until then, stay curious and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.